I believe that when you're made for something um, great, when Allah has chosen you, the devil sends people to test you. I was in toxic relationship after toxic relationship. I was uh, a domestic abuse victim many times over. And it was only when I found myself uh, with no one around me, no family, no friends, I sat there in my room. I was bruised and battered and I had nowhere to turn. And um, I had this passion, I had this passion for languages. That was the only thing that kept me going really. Um, I went on an application and I found myself talking um, in French uh, to someone, um, you know, overseas, someone international. And um, it was around that time that I had lost my baby. I lost my child. Um, and it was something that was very difficult for me to deal with because of the way that I lost my baby. I struggled with PTSD, depression, anxiety, many, many mental health problems. And I even found myself by the river one time, wanting to kill myself. I thought my life wasn't, wasn't worth anything, anything at all. I thought there was no way I could recover from all of this damage, all of this hurt, all of this pain. And the app was all I had. I would speak in French. And it was truly all that kept me going. And Alhamdulillah, I found someone on that app who was a Muslim. And they were a patient, patient person. Uh, they sent me a recitation. And the first time I listened to that recitation, I could not stop crying. I felt something in my heart, something inside of me that told me this is what I was meant to be. I was meant to be a Muslim. And it wasn't easy from then on. I had many, many conflicting thoughts inside my head. Um, I would tell this person, uh, okay, stop talking about Islam now. I don't want anything to do with Islam, even though I knew that it was the truth. We spoke about the Trinity and I saw clarity, complete clarity for once when it came to my religion. And uh, from then on, I went back and forth with Islam. I would read the Quran um, and I would, I would, you know, I would just feel such deep emotions that I've never felt before. I felt as though I had a friend, a friend that I, I, was, I was searching for all my life and I didn't know I needed them. And one day um, I went to the library um, and I was sitting in the library because usually I go to the library to read my books, um, to do some studying online. And that day I couldn't concentrate. So I thought, okay, perhaps today is not the day uh, for me to be studying then. Um, usually I wear headphones when I walk around. Um, that's what I like to do. That day my headphones, they weren't working. I was charging them, I was plugging them in, they were not working. So I made my way back home. And that was the day I saw two brothers giving out Qurans on the high street. And something in me told me to go over to them. Alhamdulillah, my headphones were not working because if they were on, if I was playing music, I would never have stopped. I went over to them and we discussed all of my worries about becoming Muslim, what my family would think, what people would think, um, my reservations about wearing the hijab, everything. We discussed it and we were there for over an hour, maybe two, maybe two hours. And the man, he said he saw a sincerity in me. That's what he said. He asked me if I wanted to take my shahada. And I said, yes, I wanted to take my shahada. People were crowding around. I didn't care. It was the happiest day of my life. And when I stopped and I took my shahada, I felt as though a weight was lifted off of me. That all of those demons that were surrounding me that the devil had put on me to try and keep me away from Allah, they were all gone in that moment. I praise God for that, Alhamdulillah. Um, sorry, just give me a moment, sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
There's a moment. Okay. 